evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Channel 20 in the nation's capital, I bid you welcome to Nightmare Theater. I am your host, Dr. Cerberus. Doctor, because I have PhD in fear. <laughs> and I bid you greetings and salutations from the other side. Tonight's movie is an American classic in the tradition of Citizen Kane and Gone with the Wind. A little gem called the Firestarter. All right, Franklin, from the beginning. The beginning. You were a little kid, lying in bed, waiting to go to sleep, wishing you were someone else. Whatever that thing is, your secret dream of yourself. For me, it was Luke Skywalker's son, or Robin, the boy wonder, or teen adventurer Johnny Quest. We're waiting, Buster. We can wait all night. If we have to, your dad and I are like sharks. We don't need sleep. <laughs> Eventually, of course, most people stop wishing, pretending, or, you know, they go for it. Douchebag. Lawrence. Franklin. At this moment in time, in history, I am 13 years old. My mom buys me clothes from the husky aisle at Sears, because, well, I'm pretty husky. It is 1983, and my Can brother I just and I- ask, why am I here? This isn't my fault. I didn't do anything. I, I wasn't even at home. Actually, Rodney, not being at home is doing something, a punishable something. Not being at home is willfully ignoring your fraternal duties. How did it come to pass, Franklin, that our house was on fire? A month ago, I gave my English class, Franklin included, a creative writing assignment. Write a short story. Very few parameters. It uh, had to be a certain length. Uh, other than that, no restrictions in terms of content or form. Mr. Walsh, is that a pitcher of water on your desk? Would you mind pouring me a glass? Certainly, Mrs. Robinson. Christ, Lydia. Any anxiety medication, Mr. Walsh, as you can imagine, I have a lot of anxiety in my life from my family and my full-time job. Uh, oh, yes, indeed. I'm like those enjolly ladies in the commercials. I bring home the bacon and I fry it up in the pan. Uh, you were saying, Mr. Walsh? Uh, well, after I collected the stories and started reading them, I noticed a trend. Oh? Uh, many of the stories were... Let's call them similarly themed. Look, I, I, I can explain. I would have explained. How many? Seven, including Franklin's. The stories, the uh, abominable ivy, the death clock, <laughs> your corpse I shall carve, <laughs> voodoo you trust, <laughs> pledge to Satan, demon from the deep, and the one that Franklin submitted under his own name, Oh, Mom, oh, Dad, you've sent me away to summer camp, and I'm so sad. <laughs> you want to kill us? That's your twisted little fantasy? You want us dead? No, Mom. You're not so special, you know. Every teenager is sensitive, is misunderstood. Every teenager wants to kill his parents. The cannibalism, that's an added layer. But the murder, <laughs> there we go. Every teenager wants to run away to New York and be a star. You think I didn't want that? It's just you think a, I don't still? It's just a story, Mother. Yes, you keep saying that. But then I wake up in the middle of some night and you're looming over me with a steak knife and a bottle of barbecue sauce. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just go ahead and try it, my little carnivore. You try it and you see what happens. I bite back. 